me, basically, I'm going to give you a little quiz. And this is the prevention side of things. Just something to think about in the back of, um, in the, in the back of your mind as you're going through this. Remember that they are robbing you because they want what? They want, they want cash, generally. But in some cases, because you're a pharmacist, they may actually want your product as well. Okay, that the product may be as good as you can. Uh, but an armed robbery typically are uh, for cash. The burglaries particularly for product. Yes or no? Yes. That's your experience? Yeah. So um, now, I don't want to do a, I guess we could do a, a show. No, we won't do a show of hands, but just answer these questions. In your head. <coughs> if you're working with cash, do you have a safe process for counting, storing, and handling, and transferring your cash? You have a process that you figure is safe. Are your registers cleared often to maintain a small amount of cash? Are you, do you have credit cards and electronic uh, funds transfer, point of sale stuff that helps you to reduce the amount of cash that's on your premises? By the way, I'm gonna, um, that's why I wanted everybody's email. I'll send you these things later on. So I have a checklist for, uh, you, you can take notes if you want, but it's sort of a checklist that should be done before anything happens. So this is sort of the crime prevention side of things. I'm only gonna be short with this one, though. This is not my specialty here. Are all, uh, all your workers trained what to do in the event of an armed um, robbery? Do you have processes, safe processes in place for how you open and how you close and if you're working at night, what to do? Uh, do you have your rosters arranged so more than one person is working if possible? Is public access to your business restricted if workers are working alone? Do you have safety procedures in place if the workers are working alone? Do workers always have a quick way, an easy way of contacting the management? And now the work is trained in these working alone procedures. Now, here's something on systems. Do you have a surveillance or security system? Do you have an electronic sensor system to alert workers to customers in the premises? Like, you know, the buzzing door. Do workers have access to personal duress alarms or panic buttons? Have you publicized the safety and security procedures and systems that you have in place to your, to your workers. Designing a building, do you have bright internal and external lighting? Do workers have a safe area that they can retreat to if a robbery or other threat occurs? Are counters and floors designed to reduce the risk of physical violence? on floor spaces. Have other design issues been considered? For example, solid exterior doors, internal mirrors, windows, bars, or grills, secured rear access. Now, we're talking about transporting cash here. Some questions I want to frame your mind as I go with, uh, as I go on. Is banking done by more than one person and on different times? Are safety procedures in place if workers are working alone, is the bank close to your premises? Do you vary your route when you're uh, traveling <coughs> with the cash? Do workers have access to personal duress alarms? Are all workers trained in procedures to carry cash safely? Are all workers trained in what to do during an armed a robbery or, or holdup? Again, have you publicized the safety and security procedures and systems that you have in place? Now let me ask you just in kind of a show of hands, how many of you would say that you've done 100% of that list? 